Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series. In this short video, I'm going to tell you about the skills you need to learn to start using R. There are many popular programming languages that are used in data science, such as R, Python, and MATLAB. In this series, we will focus on R. So why R? First, it's one of the most popular language in data science. It has a great visualization and interactive tools. Also, it has a great development environment such as R Studio. It has more than 10,000 packages and has a great community and also completely free. But why you should start with R? Because R has great interactive tools, which Python doesn't have. And also R Studio, it makes it easier to use it. So I want you to think programming languages like our talking languages. For example, R can be like Spanish, Python like Portuguese, and MATLAB like Italian. So if you learn Spanish, you'll be able to understand to some extent Portuguese and Italian. Similarly with R, if you learn R, you'll be able to understand the code from Python. So where should you start? Whenever you start learning a new language, you will start with the basics. So you will learn alphabetics. Similarly, with programming language, you need to start to know how to code. Then step by step, you go on with the details. So to be able to use R, you need to learn three data skills. First, data visualization. Second, data manipulation. And third, machine learning. And you need to learn them in this order. So why in this order? We will answer this in the next slides. So let's start first with the data visualization. It's very simple. If you want to learn a new language, you need to learn the vocabulary. So you learn the alphabetic. Now you need to learn the vocabulary to be able to form a sentence. Then you will be able to write paragraphs so other people can understand you. This is exactly similar to data visualization. So data visualization is used for graphic representation of the data. So if you have a data, you can convert it to scatter histogram, bar chart, correlogram, box plot, area chart, and heat map. So we, after we finish with the basic, we will go and learn all of this. So data manipulation. So after you learn to write paragraphs, you now are ready to learn how to proofread. This process can be similar to data manipulation. So data manipulation is used for adding, deleting, and modifying data. So let's go to our last part, machine learning. After reaching advanced level, you can think, create ideas, and write books in the language you just learned. This can be similar to the machine learning in data science. So machine learning it is using computer algorithm to build a model that can help you make prediction and solve bigger problems. Sometimes your problem cannot be solved with the data visualization and data manipulation. You need to start using machine learning. So here's our road. We need to start first to learn how to code, then start with the data visualization, then data manipulation and machine learning. In our R series timeline, currently we are in video number four. I will keep posting videos regularly. And after finishing uh, the basics, we will start learning data visualization. 